Hey guys, what's up? So today was the release of the long-awaited Queen Black Dragon, which I think was quite a good boss despite uh, mixed views by quite a lot of players. It's a solo boss, so you'll be in there on your own, so there's no hope from help from your friends. And um, it took me a few tries to kill it first, maybe my fifth attempt. And I'm not in next gear or anything, I'm just in gear, which probably cost about uh, 20 mil altogether, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. Um, I think it's quite good. Number one tip. Put your prey on at the start which i didn't do here which is very stupid of me you want to be praying range because well in my gear you do just because gano is very weak to range so my gear setup is gano top gano bottom um fighter hat fire cape just because i haven't got the new one yet uh rapier def dragon defender use an aura if you can like i use penance but i think i was using reverence in this one just because i'd used penance already uh, claws for spec and steel titan for spec and I think steel titan is a lot better than yak just because Here you're realistically gonna want to do one kill people have done two before but you may as well just bank after your first one And you get a lot faster kills if steel titan is on the cream black dragon all the time So you want to be constantly specking with that steel titan constantly specking with claws if you can to so bring a spec restore I'm using flasks because I tried it with pots at the start. I just couldn't do it um, if you had something like Torva or Pernix if you're ranging, you probably easily could, but unfortunately I'm not that rich. So I'd say you have two methods of killing this boss, uh, range or melee. If you're ranging, you probably want a range and melee set up because the tormented souls that come out, um, range doesn't really work too well on them in my opinion. So you're going to want to melee them with your rapier and defender. But if you're doing mainly melee, which I'm doing here, you can just, oh there's my phone vibrating, you can just attack with your rapier and um, avoid the attacks like this one. This one's called the fire wave, I believe. You just want to run through the gaps in the fire wave, which I did very badly there. You get hit about um, a 200 every time. Sometimes it glitches out, you get hit more than once, which can really lower your HP. So the tormented souls here, they do a, every time they spawn, they do this, I think it's called like a black mist or something ridiculous attack, which will also hit you for about 200. Uh, it's not too bad when there's only one, but later in the game, uh, the game, the boss kill, um, it spawns more every phase. And so it can get very da dangerous and intense near the end of the kill, which you'll later find out. So if you look at the top of the screen, there are four, uh, I, from what I can see, they look like dragon tooths or something. Um, little symbols, and each time one lights up is when you've completed a phase. So the first one's lit up means I've completed uh, phase one. So all I did was attack Queen Black Dragon, fight off its attacks um, until its health bar got low and then you'll see this little light pillow in the middle and you activate that as fast as possible otherwise it will throw some worms at you and they will keep coming and they can be, you, it's pretty much game over if that happens. So you have to do it as fast as possible, activate it and then you'll go on to the next stage. And this is phase two, so just kind of follow what I do, there are probably many better guides on YouTube but just fight off the souls, it's quite a repetitive process more fire waves will come, just dodge those. Sometimes they'll come at the same time like here. Fortunately there's only one tormented soul. And um, they move quite slowly so you can get away from them really easily. And uh, the HP will just keep going down. So keep remember to drink that spec restore so you can spec it as much as possible. Um, I know it's quite an intense environment so it's quite hard to remember to do all the stuff and I know I messed up quite a lot. And you'll see me, I'm waiting for the activation pillar here. So as soon as I see that big XP drop, I can run over there, activate as fast as possible and move on to the next phase. So also you'll notice at the top it turns orange, which means you, it's ready to be activated and then it'll turn blue once you've activated it. And these two worms that come out, they attack with mage, just try to get them dead as quickly as possible. Don't worry too much if you don't, just um, make sure you don't die. Keep on high hit points because you can easily get comboed on these later waves uh, phases. Um, because for one more fire waves come, see on this phase I think three are coming yet so you have to avoid those while avoiding the worm while avoiding the souls but on better kills sometimes you can kill everything faster so you're not dealing with everything all at the same time so here's another one of its attacks if you leave the soul too long the health of the soul will be siphoned or just taken into the queen black dragon to heal it up fortunately it was at the start of the phase so I hadn't done much damage to it so it didn't matter too much but that's why you have to kill them otherwise the health of Queen Black Dragon will just keep going up and you don't really want that because you want the kills to be as fast as possible so you can get the most kills per hour 
and then get the best money for hour if that's what you're here for. If you're here for fun, it doesn't really hurt too much. I know I've had fun today. It's been pretty good. I'll probably do a few more kills tomorrow as well, but I need to get back to maxing. I'm getting quite close now. I'm over 2,400. I think 2,412 total. So just got those seven last skills to go. And that'd be great. So I'll be making vids in the future on um, my maxing progress. But I do have exams coming up. So I'm not sure how many vids I'll be able to release in the next few weeks. But definitely late June, start of July, keep looking at the channel because I'll be pumping out some content which will be hopefully good to see. Now back to the Queen Black Dragon. As you can see, it's changed colours here. And it's um, at the moment it's blue which means it's weak to melee and I think it um, endures mage quite well but mage is really bad, I tried it with polypore, it just wasn't really working but when it's weak to the melee you can see my claw specs here 1.2k xp, that's uh, insanely high and then just whacking out these constant high hits just try soul split flick if you can if you're low life points but don't worry too much if you're not. And you'll see the rate at which the HP is going down this phase once it was blue. But now it's back to normal. This is the normal colour. Um, which you're still doing good damage on regardless. And there is one more colour which I think it turns green. Which means it's um, enduring to melee and it's weak against magic. But I don't really know. You can still use melee. Get some quite good hits on it. Just make sure you're healing up like I've said before. And you'll get through it quite easily. So this is the final phase, which is the most intense. You'll see here another one of its attacks. It's a hot flame. Just don't stand in it. It stands at the side so you avoid it quite well. Otherwise, it's going to be dealing, uh, I think it's about three damages of 200 hits, which obviously you don't really want to take, especially in my gear. So, But if you have next gear, you probably won't be looking at a guide for it. But if you look at that combo, it's completely related to what I'm about to say, I could have easily been dropped if I didn't drink a brew. Because I'm only on like 1,100 life points because of I've used the fi new fire making thing, which gets gives you that 10% bonus for an hour, which I definitely recommend doing. But without life boosting armor, you can easily get um, dropped from full life points to zero, which is happening many times for me right now uh, today, and you just don't want that happening. So if you look in the bottom right of the screen, you'll see a soul that said something like "Kill me now, mortal." Uh, before the spell is complete and what it's on about is the time stop attack which I think is the final attack of the QBD and um, it will t stop you frozen solid only the souls and the QBD will be able to move and they'll both be able to attack you I think so I don't think you can eat I'm not really sure what you can do but um, pretty much you can easily die I've died I think two or three times right now and uh, later in the video I think I actually mess up and uh, don't kill it fast enough so you, uh, you'll be able to see that as well so even though this isn't the best kill it's the fade all the attacks of the QBD and kind of what you can do in okay-ish gear I guess and yeah I am max combat so <laughs> if you guys are watching this and you're like 90 defense or whatever I'm not really sure if you'll be able to do it but I'm sure you will be able to uh, it just won't be as easy uh, this might be the one so if you see it spawn in the top left this time tried to kill it is it this one nope killed that one easily and so just more fireways to come. This is pretty much the final phase. <laughs> it's quite hard. If you look at the top of the um, screen, you can. Hard I haven't really killed it at all. I've got my Titan on it, but sometimes I forget, and it's doing damage. So just keep sucking with that. <laughs> I don't think I spec with D claws enough to be fair, but um, this is quite a panic kill. It was, it was one of my early ones, but it was quite late at night as well. So it took. Me I was ranging it at first, so it took me a while to get into it, and then realised that melee was better, which obviously wasn't the greatest thing to do. So if you look now, uh, if you look at the fire, it's pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, this may be the one. Nope. I killed it again. Wow. This is actually quite a long kill. It, it would have been okay if I didn't mess up the last phase so much, but I messed up quite a lot, which isn't too good. So I'm um, going away from the QBD a little bit. There was another update today, which was an update to the oh-so-famous Squirrel of Fortune, which um, it's actually made the loot better, in my opinion. I've done, uh, I think, five or six spins now, and I think it may have just been the luck, to be fair. But I was getting um, quite a few good lamps, double spin ticket, and uh, the drops, uh, the 50 GP got increased to like 5k, I think. There's also, um, I might be wrong, 50k and 500k. And there's these, this might be with this, just the Jubilee update, but there's also like some weird items related to it. And I got um, some shoes, which look kind of crap. 
Um, but, but anyway, there's also some dragon ceremonial boots or something like that. I, I haven't really looked into it too much. I'm not sure if they're any good. They're probably just cosmetic, but also a nice addition to it, I guess. So, um, once again, I, I think this is nearing the end of the kill, actually. So it's turned blue. I'm just, <laughs> I just thought, whatever, it's nearly dead. I'm just going to tank it out, attack it. But I think um, I was just like, nah, I'm going to die if I do that. So I thought better of it go away from it and uh, make sure I survive the kill because I was kind of wanting to release a vid today and I thought um yeah let's start recording so it was a bit laggy so it was a bit harder to do but I thought okay let's do this start a video let's get a kill don't risk it too much and just kill the QBD so as you say it siphoned up some more health and I was like oh whatever <laughs> with the fire as well I was just dying and I think this is the one where you see the time stop attack yep there you go so your screen goes misty and you can't really move I'm spamming my bureau but fortunately there's no souls to attack me so I tell I wasn't really in much danger fortunately so that's pretty much it you come out of it and just go back to attack him and now it's pretty easy sailing from now I was just like yep yeah, attack uh, yeah this is the green colour I was on about earlier so it's resistant to melee which kind of sucks so I'm not hitting as well but as you can see I'm still doing alright damage just have that steel titan on it um, spec with deep claws if you have spec recovers left this is the end of the kill you should be like yes um, I'm not really sure what I did here did I just run away did I kill the souls um, we'll find out <laughs> I'm getting comboed so this is what I mean I was panicking I was like oh my god end of the kill I'm lagging I was quite tired let's just go let's kill this thing and there's a time stop attack happening as well everything was all happening at once there's fire waves i was like come on just die spam the brew and fortunately as you can see it dies now the last crystal has been activated i didn't really notice at first and then go to once you activate this crystal um the kill is done and everything should get off you and you'll be all right so as you see i got time stopped again but um if you just wait a second there you go so I go to activate it, and that is the QBD done. And yeah, it's awesome graphics. I thought it looks really awesome. Graphics have been done well. Good boss in general. I like I like it. And yeah, great update to the game. Uh, it just goes back to sleep. <laughs> you don't actually kill it. And then this is the loot area where you just have a chest in the middle. And I was hoping for something good. I was like, yeah, one of my final kills today. Let's get something good. Um, D kite, yeah, I heard one sold for about 950 mil or something. But as you can see, this is just the the normal loot you'll get: some royal dragon hides, some dragon bones, some royal arrows, and then a bit of a random loot. I've been getting bruised quite a lot. I had a, <laughs> a dragon med earlier, which is just such a troll. But anyway, that's um, the end of the vid, guys. So uh, thanks for watching and subscribe for more in the future.